Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Paul Zalzal. I'm Dr. Brad Weenie. Journal Club. Journal Club today. You ready? Yeah. Well, it seems nowadays too, because of the internet and ability to produce research and papers that there are so many that are coming out, you have to kind of peruse them constantly oh, and, yeah. and find out what's important. There's so many important articles, we're just trying to tease out the ones that can help you guys. Helps me go to sleep at night, that's why I read them. Yes. So this article is published in Alzheimer's and Dementia Journal, you get that one sent to your home? Yeah, not yet, I'm going to get it in 10 years. Sure, you should. Effects of cocoa extract and a multivitamin on cognitive function. A randomized clinical trial. Right. And the reason that this is important, and they start the article out with this, is that there's an urgent need to identify effective strategies to reduce the decline in cognitive function and also reduce the societal burden of Alzheimer's and other types of dementia, which are increasing particularly as our society ages and we live yeah. to be much older than we used to. Sure. Not only societal burden, it just stinks if that happens to you, right? For it's sure. something you don't want to happen. So yes. there is a lot of research going into how to prevent that. And if there are some things you can do to prevent it or delay the onset. Yeah. Go for it. So this is a study that shows a bunch of pills made by Big Pharma that are going to make you better. Here we go. Just joking. It's true though. Well, not really. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so well, on that conflict of interest. Yes. Was there any conflict of interest in this? No. No. The study was sponsored by the National Institute of Health and the National Institute for Aging. Right. Imagine being the guy or gal that got the promotion, said, okay, you're going to head up the National Institute of Aging. What are you trying to say? I want to head up the National Institute of Sport. Yeah, maybe you're young. Maybe you're young at heart. That's right. But now you're the National Institute of Aging Vice President. Yeah. Well, there you go. In any case, there was no conflict of interest. Uh, the, the vitamin they looked at was Centrum. Right. So, yeah. So, it was a, it was a, a four-arm or sorry, two-arm study with mm -hmm. four different groups, right? Two arms. Yeah. Four so, groups. Centrum Silver yeah. versus Placebo. Yeah. And then, as a lot of people are going to be very interested, what was the other one? Coco, baby. Yeah. Versus placebo. And then chicken wing. Chicken wing was not an arm. Should have. They had to shut that part of the arm down quickly because they said people did not do well. On Agree it. to disagree. Agree to disagree. Do you use a multivitamin? I do. Yeah. Do you take Centrum or what do you take? I do. Really? Like me the, too. The men's version, not this, the silver one. Yeah. This may be very <laughs> reassuring for me because I've been taking Centrum for many years. I sure. ran out for a while and I started taking my, my wife's Centrum for women. <laughs> I was super organized for like a week right. after I took that. Yeah. However, uh, I, I've been taking it for a long time, so this might tell me that the thousands of dollars I've spent on multivitamins may have some value now. There, there you go. That's interesting. Well, let's find out. So, so in the method, they had a so it was a randomized control trial. So it was a well-designed, well-run trial. Good. And they had very specific inclusion and exclusion criteria. So. Um, the people couldn't have significant medical conditions. There were no previous heart attack, no stroke, no TIA, no previous vascularization. No cancer. No cancer in the last couple of years. No serious illnesses proceeding. Um, and those were kind of the main ones that are teasing out and then they randomized the groups. And the reason you tease out, you have exclusion criteria is because you want a homogeneous group of people. Right. Because you want to minimize the other factors so you can answer that specific question. Oh, the other important thing is they couldn't currently be using coke on a regular basis or multivitamins, obviously. Right. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. How many people did they end up getting in this study? Ah, uh, 20, was it 2200? 2269. 2269. Yep. Someone's been taking their multivitamin. That's right. So 2269. Or eating chocolate. 2269. And then they did a series of uh, questionnaires and tests over the phone to measure the baseline cognitive function. Yeah, so they had validated questionnaires, validated tools that you use to measure baseline function, things like memory recall, number sequencing tasks, things like that. And when you say validate, it means someone else has previously done a study to show that the test or this tool actually measures what it's supposed to measure rather than saying, Paul saying, well, listen, if you watch Jeopardy and you get four answers right, that means that your cognitive function is zero. That get, is, yeah. who gets four? Jeopardy. Do you ever get four? Like, that's a uh, lot. Uh, four. Wheel of Fortune. A little more, <laughs> that's little more it. chance with that one. Okay. And then, so they did the baseline and, and then, then followed them for? Yep. Three years. Three years follow yep. up. Right. Decent. So we got good numbers. Yep. Decent length of follow-up. Oh, and the percentage of people that they kept in the study was around 80%, close to that. Which is hard. Time. In an elderly That's population and by phone, it's tricky. Especially if they're going to forget that they got to do this questionnaire, right? Right. Okay. So, results. Drum roll. Really? Now, let's, so it's, remember, we're talking about basically chocolate and multivitamins. Yes. Let's talk about the chocolate first. Sure. Spoiler mm -hmm. alert. 
did the Easter Bunny help out with your memory this year? No. No. Yeah, and so originally, or some of the thinking previously about cocoa helping your brain function is that it has something called flavanols. And that the thought is that these provide vasodilation and increased cerebral perfusion to make you smarter or make you more cognitively intact. So blood vessels get bigger, more blood to the brain. Makes right. sense. And yeah, didn't so work. unfortunately it didn't work. No. Nice try. And it could be that the dose was not high enough potentially. So yep. it doesn't mean stop taking your chocolate because we've had other videos that yep. show that chocolate does have some health benefits, yep. but not specifically at this dose for this measure. Right. Because everybody wants to have a great memory and rotten teeth. <laughs> That's right. Okay. So multivitamin. Yeah. You're taking that horse pill once a day. So for me, even though I take it, I really am not a huge, I wasn't a huge believer in it because I thought a lot of times no. the, the amount of your RDA in each of those, because it has like 29 things in it, and I thought, oh, really, does this make a difference? But yeah, I have to agree with you. I was right? more of a faith-based multivitamin taker than a scientific fact-based one. Right. But <clears throat> it turned out there was. Yeah. There was an effect yes. detected with taking multivitamin daily and the effect on your memory, recall, and simple task performance in an elderly population. Yeah, so those- A positive are, effect. Yeah, and statistically significant improved effect. Let's show it, I'm gonna try and show a graph here. Okay. Um, where you can actually see uh, the baseline function. Yep. Uh, and then you can see the group that's taking the multivitamin. Yep. Here it is here. And you can see in the graph, they both get better. And we talked about this a little bit before. Yeah. They both improve, yeah, partially they both because. Improve. They both improve because you get good at taking the test. You learn Just the by test. doing the test, you learn the test. And that's been shown before in the literature right. that if you give someone a certain task or test, they'll get better at it. However, the group taking the multivitamin, as you can see, got more better. I was gonna say more better. <laughs> that's so weird that you better. -er. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good. They did gooder on the test. Yeah, so maybe you should double up on your mic. <laughs> I'm not ta I'm taking the wrong ones. I'm gonna put my wipes away. I gotta take my. I gotta get my own. Um, so there you go. Uh, multivitamin. Su super interesting. What's what's encouraging about this? So you know, obviously there are study limitations. The amount of the effect, you know, does that translate into someone that can go from being independent to not independent? I mean, obviously that has to be further research. But what it does show is that previously they looked at omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin D and some other specific micronutrients that did not improve cognitive function as supplemented. So this may show us that there's something in there or some combination of this multivitamin that allows to have improved function. And then like you had said also, who knows what's gonna happen longer term, but it's kind of food for thought and certainly a launching pad for more research. Yeah, and like you had said, it's important because the cognitive function basically is one of those determinant factors that de decides if you're going to be able to live on your own yes. late into your life or if you have to move into some kind of an institution. Yeah, for other caregivers, for widows and widowers, like it's complicated. Mm. Or for, and for the, the caregiving children, it is, is a huge issue uh, as we, as we kind of advance in society. And a orth couple orthopods, why do we care about this? Because a lot well, of our patients are older and a lot of them have cognitive function decline, right. and that does lead to falls. Right? For sure, falls, yeah. as well as even compliance with post-operative rehab after a hip or knee replacement. Mm -hmm. If someone can't follow a task, if your physiotherapist says, hey, do these five things, then you come back the next day and they're like, hey, I had a call, you're like, yeah, I did them, and then the nurse is like, no, he didn't do them at all, you know? And it's important to us, because we need some degree of cognitive function to do our jobs. Right, that's a good point. It's true. Yeah, it's true. So, so there you go. So if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to our channel. And remember, you are in charge of your own health. We'll see you next time.